Microbes are tiny living things that are found all around us and are too small to be seen by the naked eyes. They live everywhere, water, soil, air, house, on your skin, literally everywhere, even in your tummy too. The most common type of microbes are bacteria, fungi, viruses and protozoa. These microbes make us sick, but there are some good ones too, which is good for our health and environment. Let us today stick to the good ones. The bad ones will keep for some other day. All right. Many bacteria are helpful for organism and ecosystem. The colonies of bacteria are present on our skin, help in fighting and destroying the harmful ones to penetrate inside our skin. The digestive bacteria are helpful in digestion of food that we eat. Some food products have lots of good bacteria and help our immune system to be better and stronger. In nature or environment, bacteria plays important role in decomposing the dead remains. Last chapter, you remember the helper bacteria, rhizobium, what a crucial role it does in fixing up the nitrogen and making it available to the plants. These and many more are the example that can suggest us that all microbes or bacteria are not bad, but they could be good for us and our environment too. One among the good microbe is some bacteria. They are made up of just one cell. Some needs oxygen to survive and others don't. Some love heat while others prefer cold environment. Today, we will be studying such two main bacteria which is helpful to human and plants. One of the kind is lactobacillus or lactobacilli. Do you know which sugar is present in the milk? Yes, milk has sugar in it. It's lactose. These bacteria breaks this sugar lactose into lactic acid. This process is known as fermentation. As a result of this, the pH of the milk decreases and cause coagulation of milk protein. Mm, what is coagulation? It is a kind of conversion of liquid into solid or semi-solid state. Thus, milk protein are separated from other constituents of milk. All right, And hence, the yogurt is formed. Yogurt is nothing but it is just the kind of curd that our mother makes at home. The only difference is that yogurt is made by some bacterial fermentation while the dahi or curd is which is a dairy product is made by curdling of milk with edible acidic substances like vinegar or lime juices. However, both are beneficial to our health. Many probiotic, yogurt and other foodstuffs are very popular these days. They contain lactobacilli which are super healthy because they kill the harmful bacteria that is clostridium in the alimentary canal and help to improve our immunity. Not only yogurt, buttermilk, ghee, cheese, shrikhand can be obtained by fermentation of milk. On large scale, lactobacilli are used for production of cider, cocoa, pickles of vegetables, etc. Lactobacillus and some other microbes taken together are used to treat some abdominal discomfort. The leavened fodder given to the domestic cattle like cows and buffaloes is fermented with lactobacillus. Lactobacilli fermentation process is used to make wine and some types of bread too. Oh my god, lots of goodness about lactobacillus, isn't it? Now the another good bacteria is rhizobium. It is a symbiotic bacteria. 
rhizobia or rhizobium is a living in root nodules of leguminous plants that supplies nitrates and nitrides also amino acids to the plant in exchange they get energy in the form of carbohydrate from it such a mutually beneficial relationship is called symbiosis nice word to remember rhizobia are present in leguminous plant called host like beans sweet pea soya bean pulses etc and that is why we have we are always advised to eat our dal beans pulses which are rich in proteins and who makes it available in the plant yes it's rhizobia or rhizobium this is also in some way work well for farmers too as the leftover roots of such plants are dumped in the farm soil to maintain bacterial population in the soil and hence it reduces the use of chemical fertilizers which also reduces the extra expenses of the farmer do you know nowadays seeds of various cereals and other crops beside the leguminous crops are coated with rhizobial solution or powdered before sowing this is known as rhizobial inoculation how cool is that right so before sowing of such seeds they are put in they are put inside a solution of rhizobium so that the the cereals can also gets benefited and when they are shown inside the soil the rhizobium starts to trap the atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into the usable form so so good for the such plants also let us see how yeast can be beneficial to us recently it was been made compulsory in india and some other countries to mix 10% of ethanol with fuel like petrol and diesel what is the reason for this do you know okay so it reduces the emission of harmful toxic gases like carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide so in a in a way it cleans our vehicles and environment too well these alcohols are produced along with sugar in the factories molasses produced from sugar cane juice are rich in carbohydrate a yeast saccharomyces help in fermentation of the molasses to produce ethanol and some other products too spirit and other alcohols can also be obtained from ethanol well glucose and fructose the sugar present in the fruit juices are also fermented with the help of yeast to produce alcohol which is used for making wines yeast is a heterotrophic fungal microbe that grow on carbon compound yes it is a unicellular fungus but eukaryotic type of cell well in carbon compound yeast grows and multiply very quickly by obtaining nutrition yeast convert the carbohydrate into alcohol and carbon dioxide this process is also known as fermentation hence the bread and the pavs that we eat looks very spongy and soft and they are easy on our stomach too right so that is only because they are made by yeast okay so that carbon dioxide which it releases it makes the bread spongy and soft some kind of yeast absorb toxins during production of palm oil and heavy metal and mineral releases in the industrial process you know saccharomyces cerevisiae is used for absorption of pollutant arsenic which is very toxic and dangerous for our environment the oil spill in the ocean are cleaned with the help of a uh, bacteria alkani vorax so 
these are the waste management technique that uses microbes and hence often call as bioremediation so are microbes dangerous well not all